Hello, my name is David Hunter. I will be speaking about every athlete's worst nightmare, an ACL injury. The ACL is the most famous, or should I say, infamous, ligament in the human body. The term ACL is short for anterior collateral ligament. There are four total collateral ligaments, but today we are only here to talk about the ACL. The ACL is found in the front of the knee, the anterior portion of the knee, and it keeps the lower leg from sliding backwards towards your back. Um, the ACL is injured by either sudden changes of motion, like a juke in a running back, or a crossover in basketball, or maybe uh, something in soccer. I'm not too familiar with soccer. But it also occurs from slowing down while running. I've seen this happen in person, playing lacrosse. Uh, someone in basketball, they land incorrectly from a jump their knee can just give out or it could be in football when someone takes a direct blow to the front of the knee. Another factor in ACL strains is also weight. This is why offensive linemen and defensive linemen in football are at huge risk for ACL injuries. The amount of force caused by their weight when they plant their foot, if it twists the wrong way or if they stop too quick, their ACL can just tear very easily, like a piece of paper almost. The most common sports, obviously, where ACL injuries occur are football, basketball, and soccer. But in females, the most common places where this injury occurs are gymnastics, soccer, and basketball. I'm not sexist at all, but women scientifically are more, are more likely to tear their ACL than men. Uh, Dr. Robert McAlladin from Auburn University states that women suffer ACL injuries four to ten times more often than males. There are several factors that contribute to a female's increased risk. Females have smaller intercondylar notches while men have larger ones. The, inner, the notch, the first word means has to do with bones, but the intercondylar notch is the area between the bones where the ACL is free to move. So men have a wider one, so the ACL has more movement in the knee. While women have a tinier one, which creates a higher risk of the ligament becoming pinched and either strained, if not torn. Also, women have, anatomically, most women have inward-facing knees, a genuvalgum. You remember it because it's like gum sticking your knees together. So that makes pinching of the ligament very easy. Another factor that is not completely scientifically proven, but as being an anatomy student has been brought up to me by professors in the past, is men have a center of gravity in their shoulders, while women have their center of gravity in their hips. Men, this causes men to have a slightly hunched over posture while women have an upright posture. This hunched over posture makes some athletic movements for men much easier, while a woman's upright posture makes those athletic movements, same athletic movements, a little bit harder and a little bit unnatural, which causes a woman to have a higher risk for tearing their ACL, and I repeat, I am not sexist, this is all scientifically proven, or at least being scientifically proven. But woman or man, if you injure your ACL, you will most likely need surgery. And surgery is not just going in and, and suturing the, ACL, the ligament back together. Most surgeries consist of complete reconstruction. This means a graft, a tendon graft or a ligament graft, where they take a piece of a ligament or a tendon and they stitch it where the ACL was and it grows on that. Most, like, most likely they take it from the patellar tendon, which is just in front of the ACL. This takes about six months of rehab to get back, in to, get back to normal physical 
behavior. It has to grow where the ACL was and turn back into another ACL. But even before the surgery, they have to wait a certain amount of time for the inflammation to go down because inflammation is part of the natural healing process. Also, if it is not an athlete and it's an elderly person or someone who doesn't need movement that much, there are non-surgical ways such as bracing or immediate physical therapy that can regain some movement, but the ACL will never be healed again if you do not get surgery. There's even a basketball player named Duan Blair. He plays for the Spurs. He's a big guy, a power forward, about 6'10", like 270 pounds. He has no ACLs, but he still plays basketball. He doesn't jump very high, but he can still play. But usually after that, you have rehab. And rehab consists of rest, just a lot of rest and rigorous physical therapy. When the ACL is injured, most likely other ligaments are injured too. So the physical therapy doesn't only focus on the ACL. It focuses on the ACL and all the surrounding structures, such as the meniscus, the PCL, the LCL, all the collateral ligaments, all the cartilages, all the bones, everything that was injured. And once that's done, about six months down the line, uh, the athlete is cleared to go back to full activity.